Okay, hello everyone. <clears throat> it is April 2nd. Why is the slide on? There we go. April 2nd, 2023. Um, so, I have quite a things quite a few things to talk about for the record um, I want to talk about how I have this cabinet and it's locked but yet there when I leave they're always in it for me it doesn't help to lock anything it doesn't help to get a padlock or anything we have a um, not like within the not long after I um, moved into this apartment, which was almost three years ago, there's been several locksmiths. Um, they don't live here in the building, <clears throat> in the apartment complex, but they show up and um, randomly visit people and stay for days on end. One of them's out of LA, and I'm in Arizona. So you got, and I'm not saying that that's a person that's doing it, but I'm saying there's a good chance of something like that happening. So they just hire somebody and then <clears throat> they just have them come and stay with somebody or they provide a temporary apartment for them. I'm not saying that's the person that's doing it. I'm just saying that, that you know, that it could happen like that. Because all of a sudden, you know, there's these this locksmiths that come and stay with somebody in the apartment for days on end. And then they go back to L.A. So, there's that. So, it doesn't matter what lock I have. Like, it can be picked in one second. Like, um, in case you didn't know, the prisons train the inmates how to pick locks. That's one of their vocational, <laughs> their vocations that they can learn. They treat them right in the prison. Um, so when I leave, they mess with my food. I'm going to show you a picture I took of um, a tomato. You see what they did to it? You see that bubble and you see that crap on the top of it? That's what they did to a perfectly good tomato. They do that to all of my tomatoes. They inject something and then they smash the rest of them so that way if they're in my cabinet, if you got one tomato that's smashed, then there's all that juice from it because they're injecting something in it, then it's going to rot in all the other ones in a matter of hours, like in a matter of a day basically. So I just threw out a bunch of tomatoes. I can't keep any tomatoes because they always smash them. They smash them and they smash at least one or two all the time. Um, they damage all my food. And it doesn't matter because that, you know, like I said, there's a lock pick. There's a lock smith in my apartment complex from another state constantly. And if it's not that person, it's the next person. There's always a locksmith somewhere around wherever I move. The van, that's how I know. Um, all it takes is a, somebody that's halfway good. And I'm not saying that's who's doing it. They That could just be irrelevant, just relevant to, it could just be a coincidence. But I really don't believe in any coincidence. Since I become a TI, I don't believe in coincidences. Um... So all it takes is somebody that can pick a lock in five seconds and they can get in. And they can pick padlocks easy. All that stuff is pickable in a few minutes. Especially if you've been doing it a lot of years. If that's your trade and you've been doing it a lot of years. Like I said, they teach that in prisons. As a vocation. So there's that. So that's why, you know, I've heard so many people say, well, get this and get that and get locks and get, I've done all of that and more and more. I, I, I have done way more than more. I told you the story about when I used to still have my home before they ran me out of it, made me leave and sell it. And I didn't get anything for it that I should have got because I had almost had it paid off and I got $6,000 for it when I should have got like 40 or 50. Um so um what they did with that is I expo a really expensive lock and 
<clears throat> because I was leaving. That's when I was working and leaving my house because I lived in a rural area and I'd be gone for 10 hours a day, eight hours plus travel time. So they had all that time to get in my house, pick the lock, whatever they want to do in my backyard through my sliding glass door. So I got smart knowing that somebody was coming in my house because they made it evident. That's when I first, everything went overt and I first knew that, or had a suspicion or knew that something weird was going on. Somebody was coming in my house and stealing stuff and doing things inside my house. So then when I learned that that was happening, I went, of course, the natural thing to do is try to make your home more secure, which I did. I drilled holes in the sliding glass door so they couldn't open it and put a pan in it. I changed the locks on my door. It didn't matter what lock I put on. If I went to Home Depot and got a lock, they picked it within a matter of seconds because those are so easily picked because most of them are made out of plastic on the inside. And even if they're not, they're just run-of-the-mill locks so then after having like a whole bucket full of locks <laughs> changing them out and it not working I ordered a really really good lock a really expensive one <clears throat> that I was told that it would be hard to pick so I put that on my door in the morning <clears throat> had it put on my door and by the time I got home in that evening 10 hours later they couldn't get the lock off so they beat the hell out of the lock they beat the hell out of the lock they dented it beat it because they couldn't get into it they couldn't pick it so they thought they would beat it off off the door but they didn't do that but unfortunately they made it to where I couldn't get in either the key wouldn't work because they beat it up so bad yeah that's what happened to me so and I had cameras and I had all that none of that helped because what they used to do is <clears throat> they used to because um, you know at an electric company you know the you know you could just go straight to the electric company and all electric companies in case you don't know they have a box that they can carry around the workers <clears throat> and if you have a fire at your house or something's going on, they can turn your electric off with that box. It's just a handheld remote that they can punch some numbers in and turn your electric off. So that's what they used to do to me. They used to use that to turn my electric off. So they would turn my electric off, wait for my <clears throat> home alarm and cameras batteries, because I'd be gone, don't forget, for 10 hours to wear, to, you know, wear the power down, and then they would go in my house. And so <clears throat> that's what would happen. The backup battery would go dead because, you know, the power was out. And then, um, and so after a while, they got wise of that, too. So as the years progressed and I went from apartment to apartment, they just <clears throat> bypassed it. Because all those alarms and all that, a teenage can bypass that. They're just noisemakers. They run on RF frequencies. So you can just bypass that. It's easy. And especially with your cameras, it's the same way. If your cameras are hooked up to your home internet, they're already on your internet, so you might as well forget your home cameras. My it's not my it's my home internet that's compromised. Cause the minute that you know these internet companies are part of the program, you know. I can name two, one starts with an S and one starts with a C that are, I know for a fact, that are involved in the program. When I was in Florida and I had Spectrum, guess what a password they gave me? They didn't give me the big old long XYZ245 blah 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 password. <clears throat> they gave me little spider password. Think about that. Little spider. <clears throat> so think about that. I didn't get XYZ like everybody else. I got little spider. So they're on your internet. So it doesn't matter what cameras you have. Because if, a lot of times they'll get another... Um, modem and they'll mirror your modem so they'll have their modem and then they'll have and you'll have yours and it'll be on the same it, it's the same 
So they'll be using a fake modem to, and you won't even know it. And they'll be on your internet. Unless you really know and can pay attention. Like I do. I pay attention so I know. Anyways. I just wanted to point that out. There is no way keeping them out. I'm battling it. I'm one person battling somebody with a lot of money. That would be me like me trying to... Little old me as old as I am trying to keep out the... Um, the Green Berets or something. That'd be stupid, wouldn't it? I don't know why people think that one TI can pe keep out people that are... That's their job to do this. And they've been doing it a lot of years and they're trained to do it. I'm not trained to do this kind of stuff. They're trained to do this and they're a whole team. That would be like... I mean, it's very rare that one person can ever ever win when there's numerous people against you that are well trained so they're trained to do this the military have people that's called bre breachers and they're trained to get in and out in a few seconds they send them all over the world they're trained and they can get in and out and be standing by you and standing right over you while you're sleeping and you wouldn't even know it. They, You wouldn't even know they were ever there. It just amazes me that people can't understand that. That they think that these little rinky-dink doorknobs that they've been making for 30 years, that they don't ever upgrade and the doors they don't ever upgrade and we're still living in the same square house as we were back in 1940s but yet our car can drive ourselves and we have all these electronics why don't they upgrade our houses you see, there's a reason there's a method to their madness why, why aren't we live, like, why aren't we why are we still living in these square boxes we still have the same doorknobs from the 1940s. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's all I have to say. Peace and love.